This video is brought to you by JLC PCB. When it comes to the monitoring of different types of sensors, we have many options to monitor sensors. Is for example, we can monitor the sensor values on the serial monitor. This is the most basic way to monitor sensors, and this method is used by almost everyone for project debugging. Another way to monitor the sensors is to print the sensor values on the LCD or on the OLED display module or on the HMI screens. A third method of monitoring the sensors can be to send the sensor values from the controller board to the IoT platform where we can display the sensor values on different gauges or on other types of widgets. We have many IoT platforms like Blink application, Arduino IoT Cloud, Google Spreadsheet, UV Dots, ThinkSpeak, etc. I have made videos on all these IoT platforms you can check out my playlist on IoT projects. The fourth method to monitor the sensor can be to design our own Android application and then use that application to monitor the sensors. I have already made videos on this. And the fifth method can be that we design our own software in VB.NET or C Sharp or processing software. Apart from this, there are many programming languages by using which we can create desktop applications. I have already made videos on VB6 and VB.NET in which I have explained how we can monitor different types of sensors with our designed software. I also talked about the processing software a little while back. I had used the processing software long ago but I did not make any video on it. The interface of the processing software is exactly like the Arduino IDE so it is quite easy to use. So, in today's episode, you will learn how to make three gauges in processing software for monitoring temperature, humidity, and a potentiometer. For simplicity, I'm using a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and a potentiometer. Before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let's kick off our practical demonstration. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash scale to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer but also to easily upload your Gerber files. It automatically detects the number of layers and dimensions. Select the number of PCBs you want to order. Select your favorite PCB color. The price is automatically updated as you select different features. Finally, you can click on the Save to Cart button. You will only need to pay $2 for 1 to 4 layers PCBs and $0 for your PCB assembly. Besides this, JLC PCB also offers industrial 3D printing services starting at only $1. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. I'm going to connect the Arduino board with the laptop. Next, I'm going to open the processing software and run the code. You can see the temperature, humidity and potentiometer values on the gauges. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. Granted. 
The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Basically for this project we do not need this 5 volt regulated power supply as I would use my laptop to power up the Arduino board. The potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0. The other two legs of the potentiometer are connected with the 5 volt and ground. The data pin of the DHT11 sensor is connected with the Arduino Nano D2 pin. The voltage pin is connected with 3.3 volts and the ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. These are the PCBs I received from the JLC PCB. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the blue solder mask looks amazing. After completing the soldering I connected everything as per the circuit diagram which I just explained. Don't get confused with these female headers, I edit these for connecting the OLED display module since I'll be using this board as the development board for testing my other Arduino based projects. Now let's take a look at the Arduino programming. For this project you only need the DHD library which you can download from my website electronicclinic.com. The purpose of this program is to read the DHD sensor and the potentiometer and to send these values to the processing software. Now let's take a look at the processing code. First you will need to download the latest version of the processing software. Next you will need this code which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. To make this code work you will also need to install the meter library. For this go to the sketch menu then to import library and click on the manage libraries. You can see the interface is just like the Arduino IDE. Type meter in the search box. You can see I have already installed this library. Next make sure you enter the same Arduino communication port which you can check by going to the device manager or to the Arduino IDE while your Arduino is connected with the laptop. Rest of the code is pretty straightforward. Just by changing the values you can change the shape, color and size of the gauges. I think that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.